met my next guest last season during my conversation about what we can learn from teenagers. Andrew was a 14-year-old freshman in high school with his own popular podcast. He's the oldest of four, but his other siblings live with autism, leaving Andrew feeling like a third parent as he helps care for them. Well, despite all that he was doing, his mom, Shaletta, didn't feel that he was mature enough to have a cell phone. And I can tell you, it was a source of conflict. I don't even have a phone yet, and I'm 14. I'm in high school. I still don't have a cell phone. Do but... you want one? Yes, very much what so. What is the We've reason they won't let you have one? What What, is she, what do your parents say, your mom say? Apparently, I'm not mature enough. I just know that there's um, a lot that my son is so trustworthy mm -hmm. of other people. He's so trustworthy of everyone and everything. He would friend everybody. He would give out our address and his full name if somebody asked for it because that's just the kind of kid he is. That remains one of my favorite moments of the show. From Cottage Grove, Minnesota, please welcome Shaletta and Andrew Brundage, good. Oh, my Andrew, you've blossomed into a young man. You Thank were you. a baby. This is my first time seeing you. You were a baby in that video. Thank you. And your voice. You have a He deep... sounds like a man. <laughs> <laughs> you sound... How old are you now? Uh, 15 now. I'll be turning 16 this summer. Do you have a cell phone yet? Yes, I was able to get my phone after the last show. A lot of people texted and emailed my mom about uh, re let it, her reconsidering not letting me have a phone, and she finally gave in and bought me a phone. Shaletta, how was that for you? Because you were determined. You said at the time that he wasn't ready, that if he got a phone, he would give the phone number to everyone, and you'd have strangers showing up at your home. I still um, have reservations about it. You know, just talking about it right now, I've got, you know, just uh, I'm tensing up because, you know, our kids are just, you know, as much uh, restrictions and, and, and with everything they have available, our kids are not 100% safe online. You know, you used to be able to see the predators at the playground and grab your kids and put them in a the car and strap them in and make sure they're safe and drive off. But now the kids are going online and you don't know who is who, Tamron. And I just want to keep my little guy safe. But you're not, which is so true. And and I that's why I love and I wanted to check in with you all. You decided to let him have the phone. But so far, your worst nightmare, thank God, has not come true. He's not giving strangers. So were you keeping the reins on too tight? Were you underestimating him? Well, you know what? I did my homework. Um, I got Xfinity Mobile, and they have so many, um, you know, uh, parental controls that you can use, and I can check in and make sure he's safe. Um, he doesn't have any social media accounts. Um, he mainly uses the phone to call and text his friends and, and do some emailing, um, but we try to stay off social media for now because that frontal lobe is still not developed, and I don't want anything to happen to my baby. <laughs> I, I love your energy, Andrew. So you got the phone. Is the car next? Like, what is the next oh, thing? Yeah, I think that should be the next conversation. Tamron, every time we talk to you, you start and stuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, he's developing. He's growing into a young man. Tamron, he's going to have to stay on that bicycle. I don't know what to tell you, girl. I don't know what to tell you. I think Mrs. Hall makes a very valid point that I should be getting maybe a motorcycle since that's the next stage. Okay, I'm out. Mind. I'm out. I'm out of it. Andrew, you have blossomed into an amazing young man. Shaletta, thank you. I'll keep an eye on him. But for now, no motorcycle, Andrew. I'll at least get, I'll chime no. in on that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>